is so dark out. Let me fix. All right then. Good morning, everyone. Sorry for being so two weeks from the last episode, even though I said it'd be one week. <clears throat> last weekend, I was sick again, and my voice sounded like crap again. And then this weekend, well, I was just lazy. And even this isn't a proper episode of whatever show that was. Instead, this video is actually to show off to a teacher of mine what kind of things can be done with redstone because I might be able to turn that into an assignment. Now, so first I'm gonna go through some of the absolute basics. A lot of you guys will already know about this. I'll have an annotation so you can skip to something that's a bit more interesting and more made by me. But first here we go. Introduction to redstone. Here is one of the most simplest things you can do. Got your switch and your wire and your light. <clears throat> so redstone this here is a bit of redstone here. This is what's used as a wire to transmit the redstone signals. You can get there's various input things, output things, and then there's the various things you can use to change its change the signal's behavior, I guess. Redstone torches are the key to this. They're their own little knot gates. So you can see it's on on this side, but it's this torch is turning it off. Flip it, and here we go. Straight up knot gate. Now, signals sort of fade and degrade over distance. As you can see, it kind of fades out. This one doesn't quite make it to the lamp, but this one got repeated. So here's what repeaters are. They repeat the signal to make it stronger, but they add a bit of delay. As you can see, each one of these was set a bit longer, and then the last one was short again. This was mostly put in just so that you couldn't have crazy super speed signals zipping all over the place and causing really complicated CPU killing things to go on. But it, it can also be used for mechanisms that need timers or what have you. Here's another function of repeaters. Putting things through, if you put a repeater up against the side of another one, you can use it to lock its state. And same when it's off. And so here's comparators, they're a bit different. Um, so normally they just let stuff through. There's a whole bunch of functions, but here's the most straight up redstone thing it can do. If an input going into either of its sides is stronger, in this case closer, than the main one, then the main one won't get to go through. But if it's further away, then it will still go through. So over to the logic gates. These I just got from the Minecraft wiki real quick. And you need both of them on. Not much to it. Just two inversions. Two sets of inversions. Yeah, the OR gate is just... Yeah. Just wires. Now the XOR gate. This one's a bit more convoluted, but just a bunch more knots. I'm not exactly sure how this one goes through. Again, I just got this off of Minecraft Wiki. But it works. It does what it needs to. So here's a bit of the example of the different kinds of inputs. You got buttons, pressure plates. There's more, but those are some of the more basic ones. And then the other things that you can control with redstone. Pistons for movement. Note blocks for sound. Mm. Well, there's other things like doors. And here we've got a dispenser, which I've loaded with dynamite. So that's some of the most basic, basics of things, basicest of things that you can do with redstone. But here's some more complicated things I've been working on. This is the more impressive thing, so I'll save that later. A little while ago, I started working on a bit of a Minecraft computer. So this is 
This here is the math doer, I'll get back to that. And this here is the memory. Now I kinda got caught up because one of the key parts I had no idea how to make. I would have had to make something to be able to take in data from one thing and then lead it off to somewhere else and have you be able to control where it leads it to. And I was thinking, how the crap is I'm gonna do that? How the crap is I'm going to do that? Anyways, so here's one memory cell set up for demonstration. There's like a grid of, what is it, 10? This one, it's pretty simple. You can put your thing, and it'll just constantly show it to whatever it's asking. And then I've also wired it up to have one control to reset it all. And I forget exactly how I made this. I used somebody's flip-flop that they made with that repeater locking thing. Yeah, it, 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 it's been a while. I've, I forgot it. I forgot it too much. I don't know how it works anymore. But it works. So here's the math doer. This one I made with logic gates. And it was... This was copying... A thing I found of using logic gates to do math with binary. I believe this is another XOR gate. I'm going through to this other XOR gate. And then some ands going through. Yeah, this is some sort of carryover deal. Yeah, yeah. So when you have the two going in, if only one of them is is true then it goes through and then if only either one of that output or one of the carryover is true then it goes through on this first one if both of them are on then this AND gate is activated so it carries basically it carries the one or the same thing can happen here if adding other carryover results in full. So that's how that works. And I just copy pasted that again and again and again. I believe this is actually the subtraction side. Here's addition down here. Subtraction is almost the same as addition but there are some inversions. Some not gates thrown in there. So here's here's actually something I did do which could be expanded to be the data router thing that I mentioned earlier because this thing here switches whether or not the inputs are leading to the subtraction table or the addition table but that's all that here's a control panel I wired up to it there's a good deal of delay just because of all these repeaters I had to work with there's other ways to get the signal to go faster but it, I couldn't be bothered so let's see here let's do 7 plus 5 so 7 since that's 8 one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Right now, seven plus zero is seven. So let's get plus five in there. Four and one. Do -do 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 -do. Okay, so eight and four. One, two, three, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. And now we can just switch this to subtraction here and give it some time. Uh oh. Wait a minute. This here. Seven. Minus. Five. Hmm. Well, that's strange. Four and two. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Oh, wait. This is the first input. That's why it's going crazy. I, I, I'm actually doing 5 minus 7. Crap. So, the up ones are the ones that are on. So, mm -mm. there we go. So now it's 7 minus 5, which is 2. So, yeah. So, those are some of the things. This is just a small tidbit of the many many things that can be done with redstone oh yeah 
Yeah, I, I'm I'm not bothered to re-record this just because the phone rang. This is something someone else made. It doesn't work anymore. This was made a long time ago. It's some sort of number displayer. I don't know, every time I try and put anything into it, it always just says one blank 27. No one, no one ever makes any of these anymore. I don't know why. And I need one if I'm going to make a fuller computer. But anyways, as the sun sets, I'll bring this tiny little video to an end. Hopefully, I can make magic with these things. It will be great. It will be, it will be glorious. And it will be sunny. Good night.